Some 2,000 households have received keys to their flats at Tunga, the Singapore's newest housing estate. And as the first few families begin to move in, the housing board is ensuring that they have access to basic services as the new town takes shape. Facilities such as a food court, clinics and shops will only be ready in the first half of next year. Rebecca Mateo tells us more. This grocery truck will be making its rounds in Tenga on some days of the week. It has rice, canned food and some vegetables for sale. That's to provide options for the first few families there. If they do not want to cook, there are also vending machines selling ready-to-eat meals, snacks and drinks at the void deck. If you need something that uh, immediate shopping there, we can we can buy something from here lah. This is good option, uh, to be honest, for one to two days of uh, stay. But for those long term, uh, I don't think it's it's it's, it's enough. So we will still travel to the normal uh, Shengshong to buy the uh, goods, but uh, for the small small things that we require last minute, we can just come down here and buy. But residents say some of the vending machines do not always work. The machine can't connect to internet, so the credit card doesn't work, so you'll never be able to get anything from that machine. The company behind the vending machines says it's trying to identify and fix the issue. We changed the SIM cards as well inside the machines because it's not working on a router. But in the end, um, one of the machines we had to change to a cash machine because um, the internet connection is not working, so we're not able to do cashless. HDB says most households moved into their new flat within six months after key collection. Some of these projects were completed in August, and these amenities will serve as interim measures. It adds that in new housing towns, facilities will take some time to build. Even if residents cannot get food or groceries right at their block, they can also travel to the nearest supermarket that's about three bus stops away. The authorities recently added two new bus services in the neighbourhood and this is the only bus stop in the area for now. The buses provide residents access to a range of amenities such as shopping malls, supermarkets and polyclinics in nearby towns like Bukit Batok and Jurong. The government says that as more residents move into their new flats, the buses will stop at more places within Tenga. The area will be served by the Jurong Region Line that will open in stages from 2027.